Hi, my name's Carol and this is Hummingbird Spot. We're in Colombia, right outside of Bogota, where there's some wonderful hummingbird destinations. So we drove from the city of Bogota up to the Suma Paz Potomo. Now, we found two new species of hummingbird there. But first, what is a potamo? The Sumapaz potamo is the largest one in the world. It's sort of like a high altitude tropical ecosystem, which is located above the tree line, but yet below the snow line. It was made into a national park in 1977 for two reasons. It has an incredible biodiversity and also because the Sumapaz Potomo, along with two others, provides all the water for the metropolitan Bogota area and its 10 million people. There are more than 200 species of plants and mosses up here in the Potomo, and they act like sponges, taking the moisture out of the foggy air and transporting it down through the plants into the roots and into the soil below. That's how the plants store the water from the rainy season for the dry season. But the rainy season up here lasts for almost nine months, so the whole area is very, very boggy and full of water. Now, one of these plants, called the frailejon, has very sweet, nectar-rich flowers that hummingbirds love. So we spent lots of time looking around these flowers for our target bird, the green-bearded helmet crest. We were searching for hours in the area looking for hummingbirds on the frailejon plants, but we didn't find any. We were standing next to this tree, actually in an area photographing another bird, and one landed in the tree right in front of us. We took a look and yes, it was a green bearded helmet crest. This bird is endemic to Colombia and it favors high altitudes and we were at 12,500 feet here. The male has a green beard and a spiky crest. This particular bird is not the most beautiful specimen, and the photograph we got of his cousin, the blue-bearded helmet crest, were much prettier, but I was really happy to see this guy. He kept coming back to this tree, and we never saw him on the fry the home plants he's supposed to love so much. But while we were photographing the helmet crest, a complete surprise happened. A bronze-tailed thornbill landed in the same tree right in front of us. This bird is a near endemic because its range includes a small part of Venezuela. It has a short bill and a long bronzy tail. It's mostly sort of a dull gray-green overall, but the male has a long iridescent throat patch, which is green at the top and pink at the base. What a wonderful surprise this was, and it was another new species for me. After leaving Sumapaz, we headed over to Chicaque, where we had lunch at the Restaurante Arboloco. Now this place has lots of hummingbird feeders out front, and I found another new species. A golden-bellied star frontlet showed up. This bird is dazzling, and it's another one found only in western Venezuela and northern Colombia. When the sun hits this one's belly, it looks like someone turned on a light. It has a dark crown, a green throat with a blue spot, and a glittering golden abdomen. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell because next Sunday, we're going to Jardin Encantado to continue our hummingbird photography quest. Thank you.